one. Remove the hand tight nuts and set them aside for later use. Two, remove the heated bed plate and set the springs aside for later use. Three, loosen the timing belt tensioner and detach both ends of the timing belt. Four, carefully unplug the Y-axis limit switch and motor wires. Five, unscrew the Y-axis motor mount and remove it. Six, slide the carriage plate out of the Y-axis profile. Seven, remove the limit screws and four palm wheels from the carriage plate. Eight, attach M48 screws and M4T nuts to the long beam. Nine. Position the long beam against the Y-axis profile on the base plate with the long beam touching the front plastic piece. Then tighten the screws. Ten, secure the linear rail to the long beam using M36 screws. You can print two auxiliary fixtures to help keep the two linear rails parallel. Eleven, plug in the Y-axis limit switch and motor wires and reinstall the Y-axis motor mount to its original position.
12. Use M316 screws and standoffs to secure the bracket for the limit switch. Thirteen. Place the small spacer plate on the slider, then place the support plate on the spacer plate and secure them with M3's I8 screws. Slide the slider to check if it moves smoothly and triggers the Y-axis limit switch. Fourteen. Place the round silicone pads over the threaded holes on the support plate. Fifteen. Attach the carriage plate to the support plate using M5 to 8 screws, noting the direction of the carriage plate. The smallest corner of the carriage plate should face the motor. First, screw in the two small holes on the left side of the carriage plate, then attach the other screws. Sixteen. Attach both ends of the timing belt to the carriage plate and adjust the belt tension to the appropriate level. 17. Reinstall the heated bed plate onto the carriage plate, ensuring not to miss the springs and hand-tightened nuts. 18. The upgrade is now complete. Please relevel the machine according to the official guide before printing. Thank you.